。好，第十三条啦，又到两 Sir 最中意嘅题目啦，就系、是、跨单元题目 ，together together。跟住佢就問啦，小腸嘅絨毛同埋個肺嘅氣泡，咁佢哋呢都係攞嚟做物質嘅交換嘅。今次就問啦，喺呢兩個結構嘅表皮組織呢，有冇啲適應性特徵係共同擁有㗎喎、哦？咁一嚟啦，已經係答案啦，就係、是、兩個表皮呢都係 one cell f i t 人體間最薄距離啊，就係、是、一個細胞嘅厚度啦。咁所以今次兩 Sir 主要就係想解釋點解 B、C、D 都係錯。錯乜嘢 ？B 佢就話啦，喺呢個表皮細胞嘅表面呢，都有一陣水、哦。喎。其實呢一陣水呢，喺個氣泡先有嘅，因為呢，佢啲氣體呢，係先要溶咗落去個水嗰樹，再擴散入去血嗰樹，係為咗乜嘢啊？係唔想有氣泡嘅產生，因為你諗下啦，如果呢個血管入面呢。有啲氣泡嘅話呢，就會塞鬼住咗你嘅血液流動啦，咁就 G G 㗎啦。咁相反呢，喺個 V 嚟嗰樹，其實有冇呢陣水都冇所謂，因為喺你個小腸入面已經係有水分啦。無論你係飲返嚟啊，定還是喺呢個消化液嗰樹。嚟 C 就話呢，啲表皮細胞就有好多嘅線粒體、哦，喂，有咁多線粒體做乜嘢先？呢度呢，就去到第二個 concept 咯。食物吸收同埋氣體交換呢，其實係得食物吸收呢，係需要能量攞嚟做下 active transport 嘅啫。但係氣體交換呢，其實就只係 diffusion 嚟嘅啫嘛。咁所以佢唔需要能量嘅。當然佢哋都係有 mitochondria， 但係今次個重點就係話佢有好多嘛。咁喺個肺泡嘅表皮細胞，佢又何解要咁多嘅線粒體呢？多都係嘥氣噶嘛，但係喺個小腸嘅絨毛表皮細胞咧，佢有多啲嘅線粒體咧，就可以釋放到啲能量，做一個快啲嘅食物吸收，呢、這個先係好處。所以 C 咧，其實係關個 V 嚟嘅 epithelium 事，就唔關個 ASX 事嘅。跟住咧就去到呢個表皮細胞咧，就俾人改良過嘅喎，那個細胞膜，從而咧就增加表面面積，就牽涉第三個 concept 啦，就係、是、我哋嘅 micro V 嚟。誒，我哋嘅絨毛嘅表皮細胞，佢個細胞膜咧。就會再有多一啲細嘅絨毛 micro v i l a 從而呢，再增加大一啲嘅表面面積去吸嘢食嘅。但係啦，喺我哋個 a s e t 嘅 epithelium 呢，係冇呢一樣嘢嘅。咁所以答案咧就係 A 啦。Question 13 is one of my favorite question because it's cross topic together together do the revision for different topics together. Both of the villi of the small intestine and the air sac of the lung are the sites for material exchange. In this question, we are focusing on the epithelium of both structure. What is the common adaptive feature? So let's take a look at the answer. The option A is already the answer. Epithelium is one cell thick, the shortest distance in the human body. Therefore, in this question, I would like to explain why B, C, D they are wrong. For option B, there is a water theme on the surface of the epithelium. We are checking the concept of the importance of water theme for gas exchange. The gas they need to dissolve in the water theme and then diffuse into the blood or the air sac. It's important for us to prevent the formation of gas bubble in the blood. Because the gas bubbles it will block the blood flow and it will be GG. However, in the small intestine, there is already water. No matter you drink it or the water from the digestive juice, so that means all the digestive food they are small, simple, soluble in the water already. And for option C, the epithelial cell contain a large number of mitochondria, so we need to distinguish food. Absorption from gas exchange. In between them, food absorption requires energy for active transport to absorb the food. However, gas exchange doesn't require energy because there is just diffusion of the gas. Of course, the epithelium of both structures they are the living cells. They must contain the mitochondria. Yes, I agree. But the question is asking a large number of the mitochondria. So what's the point for the epithelium of the air sac contain a large number of mitochondria if there is just diffusion of gas? So that's why option C is also wrong. And for option D, the epithelial cells have a modified cell membrane to increase surface area. So in this part, we need to recall the concept of microvilli. Which is the modified cell membrane of the epithelium cell of the villi to further increase the surface area for food absorption. So in the epithelial cell of the villi, there are some modified cell membrane structure to be highly folded. They are the microvilli for rapid food absorption.